In this video, I want to do a quick overview of our larger nurse fanny pack. And so this one's a little bit bigger in terms of the overall carrying capacity than our smaller version, which I'll show you in another video. But you can hold things like tape, your IV caps, your syringes, your scissors, pen, cell phone, uh, papers, reference sheets, and also um, a stethoscope holder, which I'll hold, show you in just one second. So first things first, these come in two different waist lengths. And so depending on the size that you want, they have an overall range. They are also adjustable within that range. So you can use this strap to adjust and you can use this as a nice buckle uh, to help secure the waist pack on your waist. And so there's many different pockets. The first one that I'll start off is this little strap right here. This can be used for a variety of different things. I've seen people use it to hook their scissors and just have it dangle off to the side. I've seen people use this for tape and they kind of fashion it like that. And then even I've seen people use this to hold their IV cap. So in the, in the morning when they first come in, they attach a few of these and then hook it here so that they can just pull off as they go. Okay, but there's many different ways that this little strap can be used. That's just one of them. The next thing is going to be our Velcro pocket right here. This can be used for either your cell phone. It can fit um, into the cell phone pocket just like that. It can also be used for things like cash or coins or anything that needs to be a little bit more secure that is not just open. If you don't really care, then you can put your cell phone in that pocket right there. So it'll fit nice and easily in this pocket right there, depending on the size of your phone, obviously. There's four different pen pockets right here. These are about an inch and a half um, in width and there's also two right here. They can fit something as big as a pair of scissors. It could somewhat fit in some of these pockets at least. It can fit some of these syringes, um, although those are probably easier to fit in these ones above or even this top one up here, which I'll show you in just one second. But pens, you can probably fit about three very easily. And in some like these uh, ones on the side probably can fit four pens if you wanted to. The next one, I kind of alluded to that, you have for each of these two pockets, you have one of these. So one here, one here, and one here. This one's going to be your tightest one, but these ones can easily fit a few of these syringes like so. You can probably fit two of them. If you didn't want to put those there, because there's a number of different things you could put in here, you could also use this to store some of your syringes. You can also use it to store if you wanted some reference sheets as well. And then there's still a lot of room in terms of how much can fit right there. Okay, so that's just one thing that you can use to put in those pockets, uh, but you can put a, a variety of things because it, it travels the, the full width at least of this portion. Same thing goes with, with here. They're about the same size as these pockets right here, about four finger widths apart. The main unique thing about this uh, pack is going to be this strap right here and really what this was designed for was to hold your stethoscope and Most stethoscopes should be able to fit here Essentially if you want to get it out of your hair off your neck for, for cleanliness purpose or if you have long hair this can have the uh, Stethoscope situated on your waist very easily and so it's secure and it's not gonna move anywhere. Um, it'll fit most stethoscopes. This is uh, your typical Lippmann stethoscope. It will not fit all stethoscopes, but it, it should fit most. Really what you're looking for is so that it, it has a wide base so it doesn't fall down. The back side is gonna be your final pocket. And what that is, is it's a very thin pocket. It, you can't fit many things that are thick, but really what we had it designed for is we wanted to use this all your papers so if you have some type of reporting sheet that you want to fit back here um, or if you need something that's flat that's a little bit more secure because it has a velcro pocket you could do it um, just like that so you could have uh, your papers in the back while you're working the benefit of this is that i like to have my papers in a half sheet so it gives some thickness but it also can easily fit a full sheet and it still has a little bit more room and this is your typical eight and a half by 11 paper so it can fit quite a few things. These are just a few things that I've shown that it can fit, but it can fit much more than that. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our progress notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.